Okay, now it's time to cut some more holes in this go-kart. When done, please be sure to check out the 11 contributors to the Indiegogo campaign along with GoPowerSports.com. All of their links can be found down in the description of this video. Alright guys, how about we start this out with a picture slideshow. Well, I cut a hole in the side of the sheet metal as you can see. Uh, we'll get more into that in a little bit, but I had to build a little frame around it. If you look closely, you can see that the framing around the hole is made out of angle iron and one piece of flat stock. The flat stock is in the back, in back of it, and welded upright. And the two pieces of uh, sheet or uh, angle iron are both going in the same direction, going upwards of the machine. One of them is notched out so the filter can get through there. Now what I had to do next is I have to build a piece because my initial plan is to put some sheet metal over the top of that but it needs to be angled. So the idea was to put together um, a front and back tab section, put some tab sections on there. So I grabbed a piece of two inch angle iron, uh, drew up uh, the notches and the areas where I was going to cut it got that done and there, those cuts are at 45 degree angles then I took a piece of one inch by one inch angle iron and welded that onto the back so that way the sheet metal could be level then I had to take get the sheet metal took this piece right here and if you look closely it's not even one side is longer than the other and we'll get right we'll get to that in a second I think I'll leave those little metal tabs because those are acti acting as washers. So maybe I'll do that, leave, it, leave them on there like that. And then the final piece is this. So let's get into the video. Well, that right there is my cutout for the air filter. And you can see I already got the holes, you know, all drilled in it. And let me show you how this is going to work, all right? This is a little goofy, but... Okay, I have to take the air filter, put it on here, and make it so that way the air filter is going up. Now, what I had to do is I kind of had to modify this air filter, and I had to cut off some of it, like a half inch of it, so that way the air filter wouldn't stick out too far. So, let me put it on, now remember, this is my other engine. This isn't the, uh, um, the uh, other one, the uh, Go Power Sports engine. So, now I'm going to put this on here, rotate it up. You'll probably see a moth or, some, moth or two flying in front of the screen. All right, now... Tilt this sideways. Slide it. Slide it in here. Alright, now line up the bolts. Sorry if I block the camera, guys, but I do it. Okay. Now, that's how the filter sticks out. So, now, with this awesome apparatus thingy, my bobber that I built. And grab another bolt. There we go. Stick a bolt down here in the bottom. This bolt I welded in there just because the hole was drilled too close to the side. And after I welded this piece in here, I couldn't get my socket in there. So I just welded it, welded the bolt in there. So, and there we go. Now, Come on, where my other bolts at? Well, stick those in there. Now the problem with assembling this thing is that I'll have to, well, I might be able to get it in there if I take it apart. The bottom here is open for airflow, and the back here is also open for airflow. So let me, uh, uh, let me grab a flashlight quick. Now you can see the air filter in there. I don't think I'll be restricting too much airflow with this thing because air will also be able to get in from the inside too. I'll be painting the frame. Um, I'll be painting all of this black. But this plate... This uh, sheet metal right here, I'll be painting that yellow. And then maybe these tabs black. These tabs are just on there. I don't know if they're going to be temporary, but I like them, so maybe I'll, maybe I'll leave them. So that's going to be 
the uh, air cleaner protector because that's all I can do. I have it adjusted so the engine will be able to go forward. It's forward enough to the point to where the torque converter belt is okay. So I could probably go back maybe half of an inch and then come forward about half of an inch. The only thing that I'm really worried about with this is the vibration of the engine and the filter coming in contact with the sheet metal and then just wearing a hole right through the filter. That's the only thing I'm worried about. I could probably cut the hole slightly bigger, um, but I don't really want to take the chance of doing that. So, so uh, I can't really come back this way too much further. see <laughs> yeah but I think I'll be all right I think this will work out just fine all right guys so tell me what you think about this idea you think this will work I think it's pretty neat I'll see you guys in the next one